Good afternoon, folks. Two things on deck here. One is nonsense and the other is worth attention. We'll begin with the nonsense. So by now, you probably have heard that NASA is firing rockets into the eclipse on April 8th. What does this mean? Well, if you are some ding dong on the internet, you might think it means they're firing them at the sun or at the moon. Yes, I have seen that several times in the last couple of days. What's true is they're sending them about 260 miles high into the ionosphere to see how the electrical layer reacts to the eclipse. Now, we mainly focus on the solar wind and geomagnetic impact to the ionosphere here at the channel, but there are clear diurnal impacts as well, day versus night, caused by photoionization and heating of the sun's UV light. They want to see what those impacts exactly are during the eclipse and how far they spread outside of the shadow area. This map from 2017's eclipse shows that they expect a significant impact since the entire country would normally be red at this time of day. It is scientifically interesting but not scary or even very significant at all, certainly not some of the things you're hearing online. Hopefully that's easy to understand. Now for what is legitimately interesting. This is the northern coronal hole. The leading three patches on the south heading off to the right are disconnected and may not even provide much amplification to the solar wind, but we can see that the northern extension behind it is actually well connected and is likely to have significant impact on the solar wind. The size of the coronal hole is fairly impressive. It's one of the largest of the solar cycle so far, and its equator to pole expanse signifies another step towards the maximum of the sunspot cycle as the polar fields of the sun reverse. How many Earths do you think could actually fit inside there? Now, in addition to having a solar wind amplification expected in about three or four days, this coronal hole is significant enough to ramp up the earthquake watch. Excess magnitude events are about 50% more likely over the next three or four days until the stream arrives while the coronal hole alphane waves are impacting the Earth. I will see you in the morning for the daily show. Be safe, everyone.